Hey guys, this is Rags Multiboxer here. I'm here to show you guys a video on my take on the pro configuration setup for IS Boxer for World of Warcraft. I'm not trying to take any credit from Mariah. I'm not trying to do a different kind of pro configuration. I'm not trying to do a tutorial here. I'm just going to show you guys what my setup looks like and the differences between the pro configuration and my take on it, which is a little bit different. Okay, so first off, what is the pro configuration? And the pro configuration is extra key maps that virtualizes your keys. What this allows is that you can swap characters in and out of character sets. So let's say you have a prop paladin, you have a prop warrior, and you wanted a prop warrior instead of your current prop paladin. With the pro configuration, you could literally just drag the warrior into the group instead of the paladin and you could be good to go. My setup is very similar to that however uh, most of my teams are all one class as you can see I have hunters I run druids I run many other classes um, but I'm for the most part I never change up my teams usually I build a team and that's what the team will be I save the profile as that and then I start new profiles instead of building on top of an old one. The big difference between the pro configuration that Mirai has done versus mine is inside my combat key maps, you'll see I have multiple actions instead of just one action going to virtualize key maps. So here it will show you that instead of virtualizing my key map into a virtual key map and then going to the character set or to the actual character under virtual key maps I'm not doing this portion here with my setup I don't need to do this portion I'm not virtualizing so instead what I do is I call up a completely different key map and that key map is also right here so as you can tell I have different DPS rotations I have AOE defensive all this kind of stuff and you'll also find here, I have all of those in here for the most part, other than the multiple different types of DPS rotation. So the big reason I'm doing multiple DPS rotations, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, and they're all different hunters. The main reason I do this is because in each one of my rotations, I'm doing a different spell casting order. You can see Men Pet is here on the very last one. On the next hunter, it's in the third, the second one from the bottom. The next hunter down is the third one from the bottom. This adds a little bit of variation and a more consistent overall damage output through all five hunters versus doing all the abilities all at once, which gives you very, very high burst at times. And I'm looking for consistency over burst since hunters already have pretty insane bursts to begin with um, this just kind of evens things out and keeps things very fluid so here this is my biggest difference here is going from my combat key maps and just referencing to my actual class combat key maps and this is what makes my my configuration uh, very personalized to me uh, since I'm not swapping characters in and out of teams at different sets and stuff like that, I'm not swapping them here and here. Um, it's a lot simpler in my head to work this process because it's just, it's, I mean, you can go directly to the map. And you can see, oh, well, here, Hunter 2 is doing AoE rotation in Hunter Key Map. You can go to AoE rotation right here. And you can see all of the abilities that they're doing. Now let's break this down a little bit further on how my setup is, is built from the core of its, its DPS. Let's talk DPS first. You can see that I'm doing a WoW macro, Dire Beast and Hunter set. So let's look at my game helper and my Hunter macro set. Notice that on the right side, all my Hunters are highlighted here versus just the Hunter team. In case I ever do decide to use my Hunters, for anything other than a strict hunter team. So I'm still giving myself the availability to virtualize in the future if I so wish to. 
and here are all my macros for all my DPS. Now the reason I'm doing IS Boxer macros instead of doing in-game key presses, you know, telling this slot to press number one, this slot to press number two, this next slot to hit number one, stuff like that, is because I like having my interface very blank, if not completely empty. The reason I still have abilities on the bar here is because I don't have everything set up for the hunters just yet. As you can tell, they're level 17. So this is just the very early stages of the process. I have the bulk, I have the meat of my profile for hunters set up. And overall, it's working out very nicely. So I can show you a little bit on how this works in game. So when I press my DPS key, which is mouse 5 for me, you can tell here on Trufy, they're all doing different abilities. And like I said, this grants you a little bit more versatility and overall smoothing of all of your damage output. And never mind the pet screeching, it's, uh, that's something I'm also working on. So yeah, that's basically how I have my setup configured. And for me, this works really, really well. I have set up all of my previous teams within the last year like this, and I haven't had any issues. Um, the initial setup does take quite some time because I have to build all the macros here. I have to bind them to something that I've never binded to before. I have to make sure that all of my activate maps are set properly. If I have custom key maps set, which this team I do just for a repositioning ability, which I'm still working on this, I need to make a disengage macro. Um, and just making sure all of my formations are set up properly for my specific IS box or other slots. Um, so yeah, basically this is the bulk of how this works, which is combat key maps doing a completely different key map referencing this one and then doing the abilities here. Now the way this is very versatile if you have healers is you can have all your healing spells in here, right? You could have, let's let's talk shamans. You could have Riptide, you could have Healing Surge, you could have Healing Wave. And then these three spells will always cast in that order. So then if you go back to your combat key maps, and let's say you had this right here, instead of all of your shamans in one single action like this, how I have mine set up, you could do multiple steps in which then you could copy and paste in what you have and then delete certain ones. Now as you can see here I have four and five on step two. Oops. I did the same thing out there. That's fine. I'll just fix that really quick. Show you how easy this is to adjust on the fly. There's one. There's two. And there's three. The reason this works really, really well for healers specifically is when I do my AoE rotation, which is mouse four, Hunters 1, 2, and 3 will do their AoE rotation, and Hunters 4 and 5 will do their AoE rotation on the second step. So basically, you can think of if they're healers, the first three healers will do Riptide. And then you press it again, the next two healers will do Riptide. Just like that. Three Hunters did their abilities, the other two did theirs. very simple. This is a very easy way to customize exactly how you want your your healing team set up, your DPS team set up. For me, I personally don't have a use for actual virtualization. I'm not swapping characters in and out. My characters stay in the profiles that I set up for them and I change my profiles accordingly 
and I copy over key maps that I might want to use from other profiles to speed things up. Overall, this process works very, very well for me. So definitely, you know, play around with this. See if you like it. If you do, cool. If you don't, that's fine. Because overall, IS Boxer is what you make of it. Well, thanks for watching this really short video on how I have IS Boxer set up for myself. Feel free to comment on it, talk to me about it, find me in game, talk to me about it. If you need help with IS Boxer, that I might be able to help. Let me know.